Okay, so we're going to look at uh, Acule's disclosures, and uh, we're going to first start on, uh, we're going to assume that the agent has an active listing, so we're going to go to listing management, and the first thing you have to do is find your active listing. Once you're there, uh, under the action drop-down menu, you're going to select manage disclosures, and that'll take you to the home page of uh, manage disclosures specifically for that property. Once Aculus opens up, it'll take you to the uh, that particular property. So in this particular one, we're looking at 1373 Garns. And this screen is basically bro broken down into three sections. You have the property on top. On the bottom left, you have the section where you can upload your disclosures. And on the bottom right is where you can do your settings. So we've already covered this one, just pretty much gives you the address and the MLS number. So let's take a look at um, uploading disclosures. You have to have a PDF file, um, so the system will not accept Word documents or Excels or JPEG or whatever. Um, but if you have one of those files and you don't have a PDF, you can click on this link right below it. That will take you to Adobe's website where you can convert your file into a, a PDF file, which you can then download to your computer and then come back to this screen and then you can upload that particular um, file. So to upload your file, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just click on the link here. You find your PDF file. All right, so I got some PDF files here. And what's going to happen is it's going to start downloading those files. And as it's downloading, you'll notice right up here, it says, make your downloads available by selecting yes. This message up here stays for 15 seconds, or, or 10 seconds, I should say. After that, it disappears because we don't want to bug you if you don't want to, if you don't want to make them available yet. But as soon as you have those documents available and you want them to share with other agents, go ahead and check yes here. We'll come back to that. Um, but for now, let's just focus on the uh, documents that we've uploaded. So uh, here are my two documents. I can upload as many as I, want, as I want at a time. There is no limit on the document size. So if you have a 100 megabyte file, that works too. Um, it's just that um, it's gonna take longer to upload. All right. All right, so on the right-hand side of each document under the action menu, you can choose one of four things. First of all, you can rename the uh, document. So for example, instead of calling it whatever I, I use, I'm gonna call this one roof inspection. So you just type it in, click out of it, and it basically auto saves. So that's the rename part. Then you have description. Description allows you to select the type of disclosures um, that you have selected. So we have a long list here, but we do anticipate that this list is probably gonna get bigger. For the purpose of this demo, I'm just gonna select termite reports. Click out of it, and there we go. It saved it. So that's the um, description. Replace allows you to upload an existing file. So let's just say you have this roof inspection, um, but it's maybe it's six months old, uh, the buyer requested to have a newer one. So you hire another company and they did a new roof inspection. You can then upload um, the, the new document. It'll basically override the existing one, but it will keep the file name and the description type in there as well. So it's kind of nice. You can replace the file without deleting it. And then of course that leads me to the last one, which is delete. If you select delete, um, that will basically ask you to confirm. If you hit yes, you hit delete and it's gone. Um, so that's kind of it as far as uploading your files. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. I do want to point out one thing though. If you have a lot of files in here, you can sort it by any one of these columns. I can click on the file name, description, file size, last uploaded. Or I can also do a search um, and it'll just jump to that uh, the file. So here I only have one file. So let me go ahead and add a few more files just to show what it looks like. We'll do, here we go. We'll do two more. Right, so now I have two more in here. Um, if I wanted to jump to one, for example, this one's called Henry. If I type in Henry here, the other ones disappear and it just jumps to that one. So it's a pretty uh, nice tool to, to find that document really fast, especially if you have a long list of documents, like maybe you have 20, 30 documents. All right, so that kind of takes care of this uh, section on the left with the disclosures. On the right hand side is the disclosure settings. So this is where you can do, you can choose um, your customization for yourself. 
The first one it's asked is, do you want it to generate a cover sheet? If you select yes, what will happen is the system will go look at all the files you have in disclosures and it'll create a uh, kind of a quick version of a um, cover sheet that will list all these disclosures, the number of pages there are, and on the bottom of that page you can sign it and date it. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, as soon as you hit yes, the system generates it, but there is about a 30 second gap, I think. So if I hit refresh on my keyboard now, I think it should pop up. So let's try that out. Sure enough, here it is, uh, Aculus Disclosures Cover Sheet. So let me just show you what that looks like. And here's our cover sheet. So we have basically four files, right? We have the cover sheet. We have the, the three files I uploaded. It tells me how many pages each file is. And then I can sign it and date it. So that's the uh, cover sheet. And that could be on and off, if, whether you want it or not. Below that is your notification settings. By default, your um, the listing agent email address is here, um, and it's on. I turn it off for the purpose of this demo. But if you want to be alerted of any, any buyer's agent who are downloading your disclosures, you want to turn this on. You can also add additional emails. Maybe you're working with a team or assistants or someone else in the office. You can put in their email address and hit yes. And then you can choose how often you receive the messages. It could be every time, daily morning, daily evening, Monday morning, or Friday evening. So that's all about the disclosure settings. So now that you've uploaded your disclosures, you've made it available, you're now ready to share it um, to other agents. So we have a button up here that says email disclosures to agents. You can type the buyer's agent email address here. It will send an email with the link once the buyer's agent receives the email, they can click on it, and that will take them to, it will show you what that looks like. Um, this page right here. And that's what the buyer's agents um, will look like. So it's a little bit different. Um, obviously there's no settings here, but uh, the buyer's agent can download any files they want. And there's really three ways to do it, but well, technically four ways to do it. <laughs> uh, they can download, click on the link and that, opens the file, they can select one or multiple files, and they can email the selected files, or they can download the selected files. If they click email selected files, it's going to create an email template, it's going to have all four uh, disclosures that I've selected to be shared, and they're all linked. So it's not an attachment, it's going to be linked. And from there, um, the person who's receiving this can also um, click here to, instead of clicking each one of these, they click once and it downloads on the files. So it's pretty uh, pretty nice, they can do it either way. So that's another way, or <clears throat> let's just say you want to share this listing, or sorry, these disclosures about this listing to your client, you can click share with client, and you would type in the email address, full name and phone number of the client, hit send, and your client will receive an email with a link, <clears throat> they click on the link, and it'll basically take them to this page minus these buttons up here. So pretty much looks identical. Um, so the agent can share this with their client. Once a client comes in here, they can email selective disclosures to maybe their family member or friends. And um, they can also download the selective disclosures. Um, so it's pretty nice. One thing I do want to point out is the listing agent will get an alert each time these files are shared but we're not going to disclose the client's information. We'll just say buyer's agents, um, the client of a buyer's agent has downloaded these disclosures. So it's pretty nice. It tells you who, what, and when has uh, downloaded those files. And uh, it's pretty self-explanatory actually. And one last thing I wanna point out here is if the person who's coming here has never seen the files before, you don't have a button called new, if there was an updated file, there will be a, a new button that says, that says um, update it, or update, I think it's called. Um, and it'll be a different color. I think it's purple. So now we're going to look at what it looks like on the buyer's agent side when they do a search in Matrix and come across your property. So what you're looking at is a listing that actually has Aculus disclosures. And the way you can tell that, it has the icon up here uh, right below the map, and it's the paper stack icon 
There's also another way of knowing that. If you scroll all the way to the bottom of the listing, under Disclosure URL, we display the, um, the URL. And you so you can click on the URL or you can click on the icon and I'll take you straight to Aculus Disclosures. Um, so yeah, pretty nice overall, uh, self-explanatory, easy to use. And as always, if you have any questions, you can send us uh, an email, feedback at mlslistings.com. You can even click on this link right here and open the email um, to send us um, any feedback you have. Maybe you want to see some things change or improve, let us know. We're here to help and we're here to make sure the product gets better. So we definitely want to hear from you. Well, thank you so much.